I was, I was on, a, on a cruise and I had to meet the cruise ship halfway. I perform on cruises sometimes. I really enjoy it. And yeah, I do. It's a floating buffet. <laughs> so I had to meet a cruise ship in Cozumel, Mexico. Now Cozumel is beautiful, but it's difficult to get to. I had to fly from Vegas to Cancun, Cancun to Cozumel. You can go two ways. You can go across water on a ferry. Now that's different, a ferry. I looked at the ferry though, and it's a nay nay ferry. It's one of those ferries that tips over once a month. Everybody dies. These ferries tip over all over the world. You know what it is? Uh, they fit 50 people. They put 400 on it. It tips over and they're shocked. What happened? There's going to be an investigation. You put 400 people on it for. Don't you have a clicker? 4950. Wait for the next ferry, please. So the only way for me to get to Cozumel from Cancun was to take a commuter airline, Air Cozumel. <laughs> Flying's part of my job, it doesn't bother me. But little propellers on a plane, like World War II, they ask you how much you weigh. If it's that close, I ain't going. And it's nobody's business. I said about 180, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, one lady freaks out, Dios mio, el gordo es muy loco, and she runs. Good, more room for me, crazy lady. <laughs> I understand it's really hard to, hard to work and in the I, travel I try to be industry. kind and gracious when I fly, but I'm in this chair, and I'm not too big, the plane's too small. <laughs> and I'm not a happy man. I've lost my cherub-like demeanor. The gentleman next to me, I'm in his lap. He's on his cell phone. Hello, mijo, I don't think I'm gonna make it. There is a big guy next to me, and I can't feel my leg. So I, I try to move, because I don't want to kill this guy. His son will avenge him. I'll be a baggage claim in here. Hello, my name is Anil Montoya. Yo kill my father. Prepare to die. Then the flight attendant comes by again and says, excuse me, sir, you're in an emergency exit. Can you get that door open? What do you mean, if the plane crashes, will I open the door? Nay, nay, I'm going to go through the door. My door is going to be this big. Everybody's gonna wanna go out through my door. And I'll be fast, you'll think a gazelle is loose on the runway. <laughs> Y'all be on fire, I'll be in the terminal eating a taco. I was on that plane. I don't remember much. I smelled smoke, and now I'm eating a taco. I was on a cruise ship in 1998 that crashed. This was in the newspaper. It was off the coast of St. Martin. St. Martin is a beautiful island in the Caribbean. It has rocks around it, big rocks. We're gonna call them bad rocks. <laughs> Everybody knows about these rocks. Christopher Columbus had a map, 1492. These are gonna be rocks right there. The captain came too close to the island and we hit the rocks. You know how like the Titanic hit an iceberg? We hit rocks. Well, why is he hitting rocks? Don't you have a rock finder thingy in the steering room? Shouldn't something flash? Rocks, rocks, rocks! My friend has a bass boat, he never hit a rock. Then the captain comes on and the captain is a Norwegian gentleman. Norwegians have a great sailing tradition dating back to the time of the Vikings. Except I got the guy that hit rocks. <laughs> And the captain comes on and goes, hello, my name is Carlton Houston. Oh good, Lawrence Welk is driving the boat. That's why we crashed. I want you to know that the ship is indeed taking on a little water. You mean we're sinking? A guy bringing on a case of Evian, that's taking on a little water. There's half a million gallons on deck one. I'm on deck two. That's where Shelley Winters bought it in the Poseidon Adventure. Time for me to go. People were very calm, considerate. There's always idiots though. One guy's running around. It's like the Titanic, it's like the Titanic. We're in the Caribbean. The water's 85 degrees. Jump on my back, I'll take you to Miami. Yeah. 
John's in trouble again. The you know, only thing is, cruise ship buffet lines are intolerably long. They have great aesthetics, like they, there's ice sculptures, and they carve stuff like, you know, a, a watermelon into a shark, and little cantaloupes or baskets with little tomato rolls. I mean, it's very nice, but little old ladies are up there freaking out. Oh, look at it, it's so beautiful! And they're taking pictures. Emily, get in there! It's, and it's a buffet line, and I'm at the end of the line. I don't want to be rude. I just want to know what's going on up there. People are starving behind you. Yeah, 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 it's a cantaloupe basket. It's very nice. Get out of the line. Get out of the line. I have no patience in a food line. Any line for that matter. Oh, I have to work on my patience. If I, oh, at McDonald's, if there's a long line, I jump behind the counter, I work the fries, I get it moving. I've been employee of the week twice, I don't even work there. But I take the parking space and I love having my picture up. Watch people at McDonald's, they decide what they want when they get to the front of the line. That makes me crazy. What were you doing in line, your tax returns? I knew what I wanted before I parked the car. People stare at a McDonald's menu. It's McDonald's. It's the same stuff since you were six years old. Ask me anything, left to right, right to left. What do you want to know? Get out of the line! Get out of the line. People are reading the menu. They have pictures of the food. Just point. Mm. Get out of the line. Starbucks is another one. I like Starbucks. They have a good product. They're polite. They're too slow. I have to have coffee in the morning where I can't talk. My first cup can't be Starbucks. I'd be dead by the time I got to the front of that line. You got coffee back there? Yeah, well, you should drink some of that so you're moving. I have to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get coffee to stand in line for coffee. And people are staring like, I should have done that. <laughs> KFC, I don't do well in KFC lines because people stare at that menu. It's KFC. They have chicken. <laughs> you know what else they got? They got chicken. <laughs> you want chicken or chicken? Get out of the line. Movie theater concession line. People staring at that menu. They got popcorn, candy, soda. That's what they got. What are you looking for? Buffalo wings, prime rib? They don't got that. Get out of the line. Am I the only person in this line that has a movie to catch? That's what I would like to know. The supermarket I don't do well either. Oh good, she has coupons. It's okay to have coupons, but I always get the lady. I have a coupon somewhere. Somewhere, I know it is. Get out of the line. And if people buy bad stuff in the supermarket, I tell them. I saw one guy buying cheap toilet paper. I said, what are you doing? That's four rolls for 89 cents. That can't be good. Don't you like yourself? I understand the need to find a bargain, but toilet paper, you buy good toilet paper. I've been really broke. I always got good toilet paper. It's a line you don't cross. It tells you everything will be all right. The bills are late, but I got good toilet paper. We have so many blessings, we don't count. We have such great toilet paper. Did you ever think of that? That's Charmin Ultra. Oh, you can make a suit out of that. Is that Versace? Charmin. No dry cleaning, I just flush it. The first time I played Tempe, Arizona, it was August. And I wasn't used to the heat. It was one of those days when it was 112. Now somehow after it's 110, it might as well be 1,000 for me. <laughs> Is that 110 for some reason, it's just a line. You open the door to the hotel and you feel <laughs> And I go out and they're picking me up for the show and it's like walking underwater. And the valet has a mist system because people die before their car comes. <laughs> Here's your car. Oh. <laughs> the 
the guy picks me up, and I never met him before. He's kind of grumpy, though. And he's driving me to the club, and I'm miserable. I'm depressed. It's so hot. I should have booked this in the late fall. How, how am I going to perform? It's so hot. Oh, God. Ha, 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 ha. There's a Dairy Queen around here. <laughs> there it is! I saw the angel over the Dairy Queen. That must be St. Blizzard. <laughs> and I tell a guy driving, I say, pull over, I'm getting a milkshake. Because it's 110, you get a milkshake. I think it says that in the Weight Watchers manual. <laughs> the guy looks at me and he's rude. He goes, not now, we have to get to the show, maybe later. <laughs> So he wipes the blood from his head. <laughs> Says, you know what? I could use a milkshake too. Besides, I'm a little dizzy. I really shouldn't be driving right now. <laughs> There's only one person in front of me in line, but it's a very skinny man. Skinny people, I love you. We're all God's children. But sometimes you just can't decide. I don't know what I want. Get out of the line. Get out of the line. I had a guy in front of me go, how big is the small? It's small. The smalls are small. The mediums are medium, the larges are large. If you have to ask how small a small is, you're not hungry enough yet, come back later. Get out of the line! It's 110, I have to hear, how big is the small, is it big? And that's when I killed him, Your Honor. Case dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the gym sometime. I love you, Tempe.